I'm getting started on day two, my running preparation. And I thought it would be fun to tell y'all what songs I read to yesterday. Um, and then like tomorrow I can tell you about the songs I ran to today. So it's a playlist on Spotify that I'll have to look up the name of, but it's like meant for while you're playing cards. It's like a card game playing Spotify playlist and it's really good. So yesterday I ran to High High Hopes by Panic at the Disco and Crocodile Rock. And I believe in a thing called love. And then a Sublime song came on, which was bad, so I skipped it because it was too slow. And then Valerie by Amy Winehouse. And yeah, by Usher. So those were my, I need to get on the other side of the road. A car came up behind me. What am I thinking? Oh my gosh, there's another one. Okay, I'm on the correct side of the road now, which you should always walk towards traffic if you didn't know because you can see something coming and I live on like a boulevard and there's lots of little cut through streets but I just run to the end of the boulevard turn and come back like a couple of times that's my route um but anyways about the music I find that listening to like old older jams when you're walking slash running is helpful compared to like I used to try to run to um, like podcasts or um, like upbeat, like I would type in like running playlist and it would be like some sort of like techno beats and remixes, which is cool. But if you listen to older music, then it'll like spark a memory in your head. And then you can spend so long thinking about that memory. And before you know it, you've ran for like five minutes or four, however long the song lasts. And then four minutes have gone by and you've ran so far. And then a new song comes on and sparks new memories. And you can think about that too. But speaking of what you're thinking about while you're running, um, yesterday I was honoring Callie with my run. And in case y'all didn't see it, I linked her website down below. Um, down below. <laughs> Yeah, whatever in the description and uh and here I go with the sniffles again it's just because I'm running in the stinking cold but I couldn't stand the sound of my sniffles in the video so I had to mute them all yesterday and I'm probably gonna have to do it again because it's just not it's just not it but um today I'm gonna be running for Hadley Henry and I'll talk about that more later because I just can't even get into that right now. I could talk about Hadley for days. Mm, just love her. But it's time to run. So here I go. I just finished a mile point one. And I'm winded. These are not easy for me. Old and out of shape, I guess. But the one problem that I always have is I can never decide if I want to use the length I've traveled. So I'm like, okay, let's do it. Let's run one mile. Or if I want to use the music as a like a metric for how far I'm going. Like, okay, go for two songs. Or if I want to use the physical landmarks of the street around me. I go two loops. You can do it. So I just did two songs and stopped to walk because it was, a, I was like, I'll do two songs. And if that's not a mile yet, I'll keep going. So I have like backups of checkpoints. Does anybody else do that? Feel free to answer me for real in the comments because I think that'll help motivate me. So if you're watching this and you're like, oh, I kind of want to comment, please do. Because <laughs> I want to have something to respond to. Because I think it'll be fun and I'll feel like it's real, like somebody's watching. So just say, hi, hi, I'm watching. I do that too or not. I don't do that. 
or whatever. So like now, I'm like, when I get to the end of this, I'll run again, I'll run another mile. Cause I'm at 1.25 now. So here we go. Okay, I'm on my second walk break. If you don't count like the walking of the warm up, then this is the second time I've actually stopped to walk. And if you don't like hearing me try to get words out while I'm this winded, then these videos are just like not for you because I'm kind of struggling. And walking in the cold or running in the cold is not fun because my eyes are leaking and my chest hurts. Gotta switch hands. But that's part of the reason why I wanted to start running and prep for the St. Jude 5K because I feel like every time I run that one, since it's in February, my chest is just like, ache, my lungs ache because the air is so cold and I can't stand that. So I guess I'm trying to like get my lungs used to it. I think there's bats out here. Anyways, let's see where I'm at. Oh, 2.07. I'll run one more and then do a cool down. Okay, I finished my 3.15, came home, stretched a little, still need to stretch some more, and um, I feel good again. I don't know if today was harder or easier than yesterday. It must have just been about the same. Um, but I did finish the 3.15 in less time than I did yesterday, so that's cool. Um, and I, I know that I ran faster with the thought of like, oh, I could beat yesterday's time and I'm posting this and people will see a lot of the time while I'm running, I'm like, well, I'm posting this. So I need to run faster because if it, if I wasn't posting, I'd be like, oh, I'm just going to stop and walk now, which is crazy. And I know that's silly because everybody's like, do it for you. Don't do it for anybody else. But I can't. I literally won't. So I'm doing it to post it and I'm doing it with the, like I said, the intention of um, running for kids with cancer. So today I'm running for Hadley and, or I ran for Hadley and this was her t-shirt um, throwing out leukemia for Hadley because she had the most precious little fro. Oh, I hate when these lights do that. Um, she had the most adorable afro when she was little and now it's much longer. But anyways, Hadley is one of my best friend's nieces, Marley's niece. And she was diagnosed with leukemia when she was four years old in like 2013. Yeah. And she's 13 years old now. And she's had, she had her no mo, no mo chemo party in like 2018. So that was a long journey, five years or so. Gosh, I'll have to look back to see, but I know she had her pneumo chemo party in like 2000, maybe 2016. Anyways, uh, she's been cancer free ever since. She's had good scans, everything's been great. And she's now 13 years old, grown girl, and she's just got the best heart and she, is why I ran today and I just love her so much that I can't even put it into words. And I, so while I was running, I was like, oh my gosh, this is easy to run for Hadley. Like running for Callie yesterday was, it was easy to run in, in her memory and to just like give thanks and praise for her life and to pray for her family while I was running. And then today praying for my best friend's family and just thanking God for Hadley's life and thanking God for Marley's strength and Corinne's strength and their whole family and Ashton, their whole family, like during that time and still like, I don't know, it makes my heart swell. And so it was easy to keep going, especially since Hadley is like this long, these long legs, she's so athletic. I was like, Hadley would be blowing past me so I was like imagining that I had to try to keep up with her 
which was fun. But uh, another thing I wanted to say was that it's so much easier to run a 5K. If you're watching this and you're like, I hate running, I never wanna do that, I'm not gonna join. Um, I, I don't know what to tell you about the training part because this kind of does suck. <laughs> I feel good now, I feel good after the run. During the run, I'm like, this, this hurts. My legs hurt, I wanna stop, but then I'm like, motiv the motivation I've found this time has been very helpful. So I guess find your motivation. But during a 5K, when there's people lining the streets, cheering as you go by, and there's like little water stations where they're like, woo, let's go. And so many people are also running. It's so much easier to keep going. And so if you've never ran before and you kind of want to, then you should come do the Minden St. Jude 5K. And um, yeah, I'll be there. And I think it would be awesome to see you. And lastly, I just wanted to um, say, because I think it's so funny, I did not tell anyone yesterday before I posted that video. Um, I just like had the whim to do it. And so I recorded and then I edited on my phone and then I posted it. <laughs> and then I told my boyfriend and then I texted my mom and then I put it on Instagram and Facebook. And so when I got to work this morning, the girls were like, you're a YouTube girly now? I was like, I guess I am. But it made me run again today. So it's working. And one girl said, mm, well, your name says Mackenzie doing things. So I guess you're going to have to find other things to do. Like, That's my plan. <laughs> so there's a couple of other things in life that I have like no motivation to do on my own. But I think that if I'm like, oh, I'm going to put it on. Mackenzie doing things then I'll do it so thanks for watching leave a comment or I feel weird to say like give it a like but I kind of just like want to know that you are here so give me a little like or a comment just so I know like who's here and I don't know thanks for watching and I guess I'll see you guys tomorrow <laughs>